x minus 2. This one is a relatively simple one. What are we going to do with it first? Add 2. Add 2. 8 is equal to the absolute value of x. What does that mean if I'm saying what x is going to be equal to? It's going to be 8 is equal to x and negative 8 is equal to x. Makes sense, yes? Then we get into a slightly more challenging one with b. We have 2 being multiplied by the absolute value x plus 5 is equal to 4. How do I know that 2 is being multiplied by it? It's right next to it. Grouping symbols include parentheses, brackets, absolute values. So this is the same as if I had parentheses here. <clears throat> I don't want to distribute that because that changes what's in the absolute value and I want to get the absolute value isolated. I'm going to divide by 2 first. That leaves me with the absolute value of x plus 5 is equal to 2. Once my absolute value bracket set is isolated, I'm going to rewrite it as x plus 5 is equal to 2 and x plus 5 is equal to what? Negative 2. Negative two. Remember, absolute values are distance from zero, so when we're pulling this out of there and we're finding our two different answers, whatever our solution was here, we want a positive ver version and a negative. negative version. I'm going to subtract 5 from both. And it has to happen from all sides. Over here, I get x is equal to negative 3. And x is equal to negative 7. We could go back and check this. I don't like to go back and check here. Honestly, because that 2 is going to be divided out no matter what as our first step. So let's just visualize going back to this. If I put that negative 3 in for x, and if I put this negative 7 in for x, is negative 3 plus 5 a 2? Yeah, I get the absolute value of 2 is equal to 2. Does that work? Mm -hmm. Negative 7 plus 5, what kind of 2 does that give us? Mm -hmm. Is negative 2 absolute value equal to 2? Yeah. So it checks. So here are my values, and just show them on a number line, which actually our book is not asking us to, to do for our problems. Mm -hmm. It would just be this and this, and we're saying only those two numbers work. Nothing else does. And C. Absolute value of 3x minus 6 is equal to 12. What do I do since the absolute value is already isolated? I'm going to rewrite it without the absolute value. One version equal to the positive, and the other equal to a negative. I get plus 6 for everything. Three x on the right is equal to 18. x is equal to 6. 3x on the right is equal to negative 6. x is equal to negative 2. And those are my answers. So we're going to stop there, and I'm noticing we only have two minutes left, which is not fair to give you guys the amount of problems I was thinking. I'm going to have you do four. Can we come back with four tried tomorrow and see what we want to have as questions? Okay, so on page 48, I want you guys to try 
let's do 15 through, oh, those are all very similar. I'm going to just put down some numbers. 15, 19, 21, and 23. Those four problems will give us a little bit of variety to ask about tomorrow. I will also put those numbers in classroom. Thumbs up, are we good? Okay. Let's get Chromebook.